Today in the Smuggler's Room, we intercept a transmission. The galaxy is at stake, and Geekness is our only chance of survival. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Actually, we're just going to build some really cool planets and some HUD displays for a really neat interactive element we're going to add to the room build. That's coming up. What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian, and welcome to The Smuggler's Room. This week, this chubby geek is taking on a project that's a little bit different than we normally do. Partially, this is because it's time, it's time to build some interactive electronic displays for our Smuggler's Room build project. And the other part is, I hyperextended my knee last week, and I wasn't able to work in the shop at all. Now, I'd love to tell you that I injured it while I was free solo climbing Endar's Cliff in Beggar's Canyon with one hand while I fought off Womp Rats with the other. But the truth is, I injured it walking my little 20-pound West Highland Terrier. So what we're going to do today is build a really cool set of space scenes with realistic planets and heads-up displays, like this one. And we're going to take those graphics in that video and we're going to embed them on a small LCD display and build that into the bench in our Smuggler's Room project. Now I want to give a huge thank you to Jamie Dole for sharing all of his amazing resources with us to help us put this together. There are links to his videos in the description below and you really need to check it out. He's got some great projects. Jamie, thank you very much. Let's dive in to Adobe After Effects. For a lot of the work we do in the Smuggler's Room to make our videos, we use the Adobe Suite. This includes Adobe After Effects, which I quickly learned was an incredibly powerful tool. I will say right up front that I am not what you would call proficient as a user of the software yet. I can tinker enough to get myself into trouble, but that's about it. That said, I'm a huge fan of Video Copilot. Their tutorials are entertaining and educational when it comes to After Effects. Their Orb plugin is actually what we're working on with this project to create our planets. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of this in a step-by-step -step format. I just wanted to show you a bit on how this plugin with After Effects can help you create some really convincing planets. Video Copilot has an extensive step-by-step -step tutorial on their channel as well as on their website. And we'll link to both of those below in the description if you wanna check that out. So, with the Orb tool, we're able to add textured maps to simulate 3D spheres. The software plugin has several layers in which you apply the maps. This will give you reflections, surface detail, and so on. We then add the camera to the scene, and that gives us the ability to look at the objects from a variety of points. And finally, by adding a light source, we can simulate the sun on the planet. Now, all the detail of the graphics is built by adding solids or layers to the project. We add a layer of clouds, then a layer where there's the shadow of the clouds, and finally we build layers of atmosphere to give the planet edge and surface a glow. Once we're able to get the planet looking the way we want, we can add the stars and a nice blue haze to really up our space feel. The process of creating these planets really is pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it, and it can become extremely addictive. I've made more than a few recently. Now we need to get them into Adobe Premiere and add some of those HUD effects that we were talking about. Thanks to our friend Jamie, we were able to head over to Video Hive and purchase some pre-made HUD interfaces. This is great because we don't have to reinvent the wheel, but we also have the flexibility on colors, glow effects, fonts, and so on. So we can customize these interfaces to create all sorts of interesting effects. Once you add a bit of sound and animate all the sequences together, the sky is the limit. I created several of these so that I could have displays running all over our basement project. Some of them are long stretches of the circling planets. Others have a good deal of things happening. And one of my favorites is this one.
What's a ship, after all, without a light speed jump, right? Okay, so how do we put this into the practical world? Well, I've got just a project for us. It all starts with a Geek Pi 7 inch 1024 by 600 LCD display. I purchased this slick little LCD for 35 bucks on Amazon. They're typically designed to go along with the Raspberry Pi, but when I hit checkout, no one said I couldn't use it for more geektastical purposes. The display has a small ribbon cable that connects to the main board, and then a set of jumper wires that connects the board to a small controller with basic functions. The ribbon cable is a bit short, and it's unsettling, I feel like I'm about to break it at any second, but so far, so good. Then there's a 5 volt USB power cable, and you're ready to go. At this point, you really could connect up the HDMI, VGA, or composite, but we need to get our cool planets and graphics uploaded. Enter the Mica Spec, or Mickey Spec, not sure which one it is, but it's a digital media player. This little device has an SD slot, a USB, and all of that can be used to access your files, and a sweet little remote. Connecting everything up is really straightforward. The SD card goes in the SD slot, and then you can load your files. The HDMI from the digital media player to the LCD board, and we're on our way. Now that the LCD is functional, we need to give it a proper home. Some quick designs in Adobe Illustrator, into the Glowforge laser cutter, and then we can dress this up with some Greeblies. While we're working on the final details, I really want to take a moment to tell all of you Patreon members how much we appreciate your support. Chris and I are overwhelmed by your generosity, and we truly could not do this without you. We thank you for keeping us going every single week. All told, as a completed, finished project, this one's missing a few things. We know that we need to put the blue and white tiles in place, all the electronics for all the control panels that sit behind the bench. But given the fact that I couldn't even walk last week, I'm just really glad we were able to put something together that hopefully has value for you, because it certainly did for us. We want to have displays all over the actual room build and we were hoping that we could pull this off in a way that was realistic, entertaining, and made a little bit more of an immersive feeling. I think we're off to a really good start, and I'm super excited, especially the displays that are going in the ceiling. But that'll have to wait until another time that we build something out of nothing. because it's time to build some intergraphic. <laughs> What's up, you awesome geeks? I'm Brian, and welcome to the Smuggler's Room. The little room. What's up, you awesome geeks? 